it's getting very tight at the top of the conference national table. We've got two games today versus playoff hopeful Salford and relegation threatened Halifax. Can we get six major points in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 40 of my Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep, two big games today, Salford away from home and then Halifax. We need six points because like I said in the intro, it is so tight at the top of the table. I'll show you the league table in a minute after we've gone through the results from the games off camera. And we've got some big retirement news as well, which if you're not on Twitter or you're not following me on there, you may not have seen. So I will catch you up on that in just a second. But first up, the results since we was last together which was for this double header here Port Vale and Bolton two massive wins in that game after that we had a 2-0 win versus Radcliffe in the FA Trophy pretty much rotated the team and still got the win so that was very nice and then Ebbsfleet and Morecambe beat them both our giant central defender getting us the goal against Ebbsfleet Malcolm beat them with a last minute goal from Ewan Murray. Massive, massive goal that. And then 1 1 draw against Barnet. Both the goals come in within two minutes of each other. Apart from that, pretty much dreadful game to watch. And then after that, we had a 1 0 defeat against York. We were terrible in this game. Deservedly lost that. And then we played Telford again in another cup. And again, it went to a replay. We thought we had the game all wrapped up. 2-0 up. But they got two back after the 73rd minute to force another replay. And in between that, we played Dulwich Hamlet. Got a 1-1 draw there. We should have won it, but just couldn't see the game out. And then Telford... 3-0 win, DiMaggio Wright Phillips, Diaz Wright, Adam Marriott with the goals in that one. So that was very, very nice to see. And now, the retirement news. You might have guessed who it is. Or if you, like I say, if you're on Twitter, you will have seen it. But it is the main man for the last few seasons. David Mbala has retired. That broken leg he got at the start of the season, has done for his career. He's now retired. He's now a scout. Looks awful as a scout, if I'm going to be honest. But I have tried to sign him, just because it is David Mbala. And yeah, he doesn't want to join us. He keeps saying he'd be extremely reluctant to move away from where he currently lives. And I got that same message the day he retired. So... Answers on a postcard. Where on earth has he been living while he's been playing for us? How long has he been commuting? I want to know these answers. I demand answers. I have no idea. No idea where he's been living. And so, yep, yeah, that is the sad, sad injury news. That is the end of David M. Bala. And so, let's go and get into the team for today's first game away to Salford. We've got Herbin in goal. Tyreek Wilson and Jordan Richards are our fullbacks. Andrew Unpronounceable is alongside our big friendly giant Dave Barnett in the centre of the defence. And then in the midfield, we've got Walters replacing Nathaniel Lewis. Lewis has been really impressive, but he's played a lot of games recently, so he needs a rest. And then in the middle of the park, we've got Ewan Murray alongside Diaz Wright. And we've got DiMaggio Wright-Phillips on the right-hand side as ever. And of course, up top, it is that dream team, Romain Mundell and Adam Marriott. Oh, OK. Wasn't quite expecting this. Salford are the favourites for the game, according to the bookmakers. They're 6-4 to four to win it, despite our form being 
a bit better than theirs. Ours is inconsistent as opposed to theirs being poor. They haven't won in the last five. We've only won the one as the league table. I was going to show you the league table, wasn't I? Completely forgot about that. Silly bad jokes. And so, yeah, before we get into the game, here is the league table. We are second, despite having a game in hand, over Port Vale. We're a point behind them. So if we win today, we should go above Port Vale, you would hope. And so, yep, with that all said, let's now go and get into the game. Here we are in the dressing room. Let's go into team talk. Let's go assertive. Uh, what do I say? What do I say? I want you to pick up where you left off last time out. I think I'm going to go for that. No real reaction from the boys. But as ever, go into their different groups. And that seems to be working. And so, yep, everybody bar one is either motivated or happy. And now prediction time. 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil us, I'm saying. Come on, you Linets. Two minutes in, it seems like we've got the first highlight of the game. Mundell plays it out wide to DiMaggio. And now DiMaggio with the ball, he crosses it in. Marriott is beaten to the header. But it goes to Mundell, who plays it through. And DiMaggio with the goal. And that was very, very easy and very... Very nice to see as DiMaggio gets his ninth goal of the season. Let's have another look at this. DiMaggio White Phillips got the ball out wide, crossed it in. We lost it. Goes to Mundell. And what a pass that was to set up DiMaggio. Oh, beautiful football there. Almost 20 minutes gone now. Diaz right with the corner. And it's 2-0. Adam Marriott with his 13th of the season. Heading the ball home. And we are making this look easy. And just one little note. Uh, Salford playing red. Why is their whole stadium in blue? Not that I'm complaining. Because it's obviously helping us in our blue kit. But why is Salford stadium blue? Can SI answer that please? But here we go, 20 minutes gone now. Highlights are thick and fast. Mundell with the ball. Plays it to Murray in space. Goes to Diaz right. Through to Walters. Goes for the... And it's 3-0. Oh my gosh. We are ripping apart these boys like a hot knife through butter. This is beautiful to see. Mundell with the ball here, went to Murray, who played it to right. Waters with the shot, and nice, oh, curl it like Waters. Oh, ho, ho. and that is half time. And wow, how are we 3-0 up? Look at these stats. Salford have had 11 shots, 2 of 5. We've both had 4 on target. 3 of our 4 on target hit in the back of the net. No clear-cut chances for either side. And possession has been very 50-50. That was an amazing first half. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up, boys. And well, my pre-match prediction was wrong, but I'm happy it was. You know what? I fancy another couple. Why don't we get five? Come on, boys. 20 minutes left to go in the second half. No highlights in the second half as of yet. So let's just make a couple of changes. Let's bring on my favourite youngster, Joseph Fitchett. On for DiMaggio Wright Phillips, just to give him a bit of a rest. And do we rest Marriott? Yeah, we do. So we're going to bring on Aberdeen Goodridge as well. And so 20 minutes left to go. A highlight would be nice. And one more goal would be beautiful. 10 minutes left of the game. Salford with a corner ball. It goes almost out of our box. And can we win this back? Yes, we do. Wilson pumps the ball long. And Goodridge, can he get himself a goal off the bench? He's got Fitchett just coming up to him if he needs him. But no, he's gone past his defender. Goes back to Mundell and he's fired that into that empty stand. Thank God there was no one there or somebody would have got a concussion. 
A minute left in the game. Addo with it for Salford. And oh, that's a poor effort there. And Herbin with a nice easy save there. But that one was offside anyhow. Oh, lots more highlights now as we approach the end of this game. Wilson clearing the ball. Goes to Iona. Who goes over the top. And all that's out. That would have been a very nice goal. And that is not going to count, Mr. Green Lockyer. You are offside, my good son. That is the full-time whistle. 3-0 win. All the goals coming in the first half. 14 shots. Salford had 2R12. 6 on target. 2R7. And possession 50-50. No clear-cut chances for either side. So we're just lucky that our strikers are more clinical than Salford's. Because other than that, it looks a very even game. So let's go dressing room. Let's go team talk. Uh, I'm proud of your performance out there. And yet everybody is extremely delighted. And so guys, I'll be back with you in just a second for the Halifax game. See you then. Oh wow, Halifax have sacked their manager just before we're about to play them. This could not have come at any better time. Oh, I'm feeling confident for this one. We've got exactly the same team as the one that just beat Salford. So we're just going to go straight into this bookmaker's prediction. And as you can see, we are major favourites for this one. 1-3 to three to win it. Halifax is 7-1. to one. They haven't won in their last five. And as you've just seen, they've just sacked their manager. So everything points to a big, big Kingsland win today. Hopefully we can do that. We've still got a game in hand on Port Vale. So we need to keep winning. Can we do that right here? We should do. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Alright, here we are in the dressing room. And I think I'm going to go try and keep up where you left off, if I can. Yep, there you go. And again, only two people motivated. But let's just do the usual. Go for the old George Michael method of management. And yep, got to have faith, faith, faith. And you know what? I have faith. Or oh, do I go big? I fancy a big, big win here. I want to say five. Let's go for it. Five nil. 5-0 to the Kingsland boys. Come on, you Linnets. Five minutes into the game, Halifax with the first highlight. They throw the ball to their man. And it goes to McAllendon. And he goes long over the top. Archer's in. Oh, I was a cocky git. I was a cocky git. Nope. I thought that was going to be the prediction wrong straight away. Almost ten minutes in now and it's us now with a throw in. Murray with the ball. He goes over the top, but Walters cannot win the ball. Goes to McAllendon again. He plays it centrally, but Wright nods it forward. And it's just a bit of head tennis between the two teams for the minute. And now the keeper slowing things down. Stanley Cliff plays the ball long. And McAllendon nods it down for Archer to Wiley. To McAllendon. And they're passing the ball around rather nicely here. And now, can we get the ball back? Yes, we do. Our big giant defender there with it. And now, right to Murray. He goes long. Marriott is onto this. If he gets onto this, oh, it's a penalty. That is a penalty all day long. And surely a red card. Nope, no red card, but it is a penalty. And who's it stepping up to take it? Diaz right. Puts the ball down. Runs up, shoots, and it's in the corner of the net. Do, 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 do. 1 0 to the Kingsland boys. Hopefully, that's the start of many goals today. And a very nice penalty sending their keeper completely the wrong way. 25 minutes in now. Wilson with the ball. Can he cross this in? Yes, he does. But their man, who's on a yellow card, heads it away. And we have it again. Murray. Out wide. DiMaggio's in the box. And, oh, that should have been two. But we've still got the ball here. Walters, can he square it? Or is he going to take the shot on? He's taken the shot on. And that is 2-0. Dexter Walters with his second of the season. 
And a third of the season even, sorry, our second of the day. And we are rampant here at the minute. Walters with a very nice effort there, curling it past the keeper's hands. As things stand, we are top of the table. Two points clear of Port Vale and four points away from York. So it's going to be a very, very tight run in. Let's see, when are we going to come back? Who shall we come back for? All the way down here. Uh, I think Boston. I kind of want to do a National League derby. So that'll be the next episode. We'll do Boston as a one-off game on the next episode. And then after that, might be Port Vale. It might be a triple header, depending how the league is looking. So that's the next couple of episodes possibly planned. And so guys, if you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Likes really do help the channel out. So if you've enjoyed the video, pop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content, more Pro Evo 20 content. There's a whole lot of good stuff going on. Uh, the India Builder Nation series, the Real Madrid Classic League series on Pro Evo, and the five years on on FM20 series. And speaking of subscribers, got this the other day, in case you haven't seen on Twitter. 600 subscribers. Thank you very much to all of you beautiful human beings that have subscribed to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, check out the Passion for FM Discord, Twitter, website, Facebook, all that good stuff. And the other Passion for FM creators. All their links are down below. And yep guys, that is all from me for today. I shall see you tomorrow for the India Build a Nation series. Arrivederci.